guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing kind of a cool video. A uh, new background for now, anyway. Um, I want to get something kind of sparkly, something... I don't know what kind of color yet, but um, this this is pretty much just what I have to work with now. Like I said, the, today's video I'm going to be... I'm going to be ah. mixing my primers. So I have one, two, three, four, five primers. Hopefully I can get something out of this because this is pretty much almost empty. Um, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix them together on my silly sponge and I'm going to kind of swirl them together with this brush and I'm going to apply my primer and then go from there with the rest of my makeup and see the finished product. I'm hoping that because I have a few formulas put together it will be more coverage, it will be more, um, you know, covering my pores and my imperfections, um, help covering that stuff and my, my makeup will stick a lot better. I will be doing, I will be using my handy dandy little mirror here to apply things today. So I do have two of the same products, but um, they're diff this one is for hydrating and this one is for, for uh, poreless face primer. And then I have a Maybelline New York Master Prime Face Studio. This is for blur and its control, stuff like that. And then I have this poor professional. Um, Pro Bomb Minimized Appearance of Your Pores. This was in like a little sample pack. Um, or my Ipsy bag, I mean, when I had an Ipsy bag. And then I, this is Mommy. the one that's almost out. This is my Pore Professional Matte Rescue. Okay, so I'm pretty much just going to put a little bit of each. I'm going I'm using this B B B S small face flat ankle brush. So now I'm gonna continue with my regular face routine with my makeup. So this is a close up of my skin right now. Um, I don't really have any color correction or nothing like that. So it is kind of red. I can still see my spots. I have some redness in. But skin coloration here and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and make some color correction using this color corrector palette. Okay, so I kind of have some color correcting on. So I got some green, some yellow, some orange up here that you can't really tell. But um, as far as this goes, it's not the best. I have, I've never really used this, this like a cream um, one before. So I'm just going to blend it out and hopefully it really... It really just blends together. So I'm just going to blend this out using this um, silly sponge because, okay, it feels really kind of like oily. Like it feels like I put lotion on my... My face looks green <laughs> for the most part. Now, hopefully, when I put the foundation on, it will cover all this up, and you should not be able to see any of the color correcting colors. It should not show through. Okay, so as you can tell, my face kind of looks oily. Um, my face feels really lotion-y. Um, let me get in a cotton swab out. I may have put too much, but I've just seen other people and they, they put like a ton on. You know what I mean? So I kind of just took some of that excess off. Um, Okay, so 
I'm using mm. e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. I'll put two pumps and we'll see how that goes. It's looking kind of funny on the camera, but you can kind of tell the color, like the difference. Like my skin is just too pale, and I think... I think it's the sunscreen. This is porcelain. I think I'm going to try beige because I look like a weirdo. Um, okay. But we're going to go ahead and move on. Go ahead and put on with the video. I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick using this brow and powder brow gel um, thing. I got these at Walmart, by the way. This one in the color corrector one. Um, so I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick, come back, work on my eyes, and kind of just go from there. So. Okay, so yeah, my eyebrows are done. They're kind of wacky, but that's okay. We'll work with them. Right now I'm putting Indie Beauty's Buttercream Antioxidant Lip Scrub on my lips. I'm mostly using the, um, the oil. Uh, I think that's, I'm not sure if that's what, the right thing to say. But I'm going to let that kind of just sit on my lips while I do kind of my eyes area before I put my lipstick on, I'll wipe some of it off. I'm going to be using Elfis Smudge Pot Cruising Chic for my eyeshadow. I'm going to be using a regular um, eyeshadow brush. Like it's already cracking. And it just looks like crap, honestly. You guys can't tell. Um, I'm filming with my phone, so my camera sucks. And I also noticed um, that the lighting, although I have the bedroom light on, and I also have the lamp here to help with the lighting, it's just the phone. It's just kind of a foggy look. And... I don't know how to fix that. I don't I don't really know what to do as far as that goes, but it's just gonna have to work for now until I can get a better quality phone or I can get a camera to work with. You know that feeling like if you ever feel like you have too much makeup on? That's how I feel right now. Okay, so I'm kind of done with that. Yeah, I'm done with that. Not kind of. I'm just done. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put some uh, mascara on. This product I'm throwing away. I do not recommend this. Um, Let me see if I can zoom in. Hey. Okay, so I'm going to close my eyes and hopefully you guys can tell a little bit. But you're probably not going to be able to tell. It is cracked beyond belief already, and I just put it on, and I put primer on my eyes as well, so, ah, okay, so it shouldn't be like that, it just shouldn't be like that, so I'm just going to put some mascara on. I'm going to put my lipstick on now. My lips are like nice and smooth. That's why I love putting that on before because it's way better than chapstick. It's pretty much it. I'm not really gonna do the contour because I am I'm to the point where I'm like, okay, I need to get this off my face. It is bothering me that bad. Super bad. Um, so I haven't ever used this one or this one in my videos before. This this video wasn't really intended to be um kind of a review video, but um, since I've used these for the first time this time, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of throw this in the review video as well as far as mixing the primers video. My skin is like this. It could be just because I have so many layers. I put this layer on, then I had this layer. Um, before that, I had my moisturizer on, which did completely dry, but it's like I had so many layers, and that's why I decided to not go ahead and do my other face stuff. Um, so... This was a dollar, and this is probably like 
two or three dollars. Um, I don't recommend them. I did get this one at Walmart. Um, it's made in China. I don't know if that plays a part in it or not. But, um, it's just, it, I guess it kind of worked as far as I don't really see the color. I didn't see anything above it. I mean, above it. Like, um, I mean, under my foundation. But it's very creamy. It is a cream, you know, but it's more, it's more oily. It's like I'm putting lotion on my skin and it's just sitting on my skin. I don't feel like it's really doing anything. I can still see my pores. I can still see my acne. And that also goes in playing well with the primer. Um, you know, so. And then this was just cakey, cracky, cracky, crusty, <laughs> whatever you want to say it. So, I do not recommend these products. But as far as the video goes, I would definitely not do this again. Sorry, my face itched. <laughs> I would definitely not mix my primers again. It just not working out. Um, but yeah, as far as that goes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I um, hope you guys kind of learned something as far as some products not to use and stuff like that. And I hope it was kind of fun along the way as well. Um, but with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. Nice things only. Um, and you guys just have a wonderful day. And I'll see you later. Bye.